If you are one of the thousands of excited new drone pilots ready to take to the sky, there is one extra thing you might have to do, and that is to register your drone. Although some might see it as strange to have to register a toy with the feds, the FAA encourages the public to not think of drones as toys. They're aircraft that come with risk and responsibility. Unregistered drone users can be fined anywhere from $27,500 for civil cases and up to $250,000 for criminal incidents with the possibility of three years in jail. So in this video, we'll walk you through the process of registering your drone online, whether it's for commercial or recreational purposes. A common misconception around this subject is if a drone operator is flying recreationally, they do not need to register their drone. That is clearly false, and the only qualifier for whether or not your drone needs to be registered is, does it weigh 0.55 pounds or 250 grams or more? If you are a recreational pilot, meaning you're just flying for fun and your drone weighs less than 0.55 pounds, or 250 grams, you do not need to register the drone. However, if it does weigh more than that, or you are flying for commercial purposes, you need to register it. And to do this, there are three simple pieces of information to know. It only costs $5 for you to register. You must be 13 years of age or older. Otherwise, a parent or legal guardian will need to register it for you. And there is only one website on which you can register. One additional element is if your drone happens to weigh 55 pounds or more, you will be completing a separate registration process. Since it's likely only a small minority of viewers are seeking registration guidance for such heavy drones, I'm not going to be covering it in this video. However, if you're interested, we have an article linked below that guides you through the registration process for drones of this size. So to register your drone, first we're going to go to FAA Drone Zone and this link will be provided in the description. This link right here and it's .gov. That means that is a official website and this is the official website for registration. There are no other websites like it. So once we're in here, we're going to log in. And if you don't have an account, just sign up for one. Once we log in, press agree. And then we are going to see drone owners and pilots. And we are just going to click launch drone owners and pilots dashboard right here. So click that. So first let's do the part 107 registration. So we are going to be under part 107 right here and click manage device inventory. And right now it says my cart is empty up here. So we're going to click add device. And then the first question it asks is if it broadcasts remote ID, we're going to click yes. And now you can select device type if it already has remote ID built in or you're using a broadcast module. For this case, I'm going to say it has remote ID built in. Let's just name this test drone and do whatever you want. The manufacturer is DJI and the model is the Air 2S right here. And then it asks for the remote ID serial number. And if you don't know how to find that on DJI drones, I have a video on that, so you can watch that right now. It's pretty easy. Click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Select About and scroll all the way down where you should find your remote ID serial number. If you have another drone from another company or the process that I showed wasn't working, then the best thing that the FAA tells you to do is contact the manufacturer. So we're going to put our remote ID serial number in just like that and click add device. And now it says that the device has been added to the shopping cart. So we're going to exit out of that. And now you can see up here, there's a one item in the shopping cart and there's also a little shopping cart icon on the top and it says $5. And again, the registration for one drone is $5. So we're going to click here and go check out and then it goes to this dashboard. So we're gonna click, I have read and understand. This is just flying in recordings with FAA. And then you would input your payment information and review and pay, confirmation, everything like that. And then it will give you a number. And it says right here, mark your aircraft. So once it gives you the registration number, you need to mark your aircraft with the number on the drone. You can do this with a Sharpie. You could write the number on your drone or you could print out a little sticker and write the number on the sticker and attach the sticker to the drone. But either way, it has to be visible on your drone. Now, it's basically the same for if you are a recreational pilot and you want to register your drone. 
And again, you only need to register it if it is above 0.55 pounds for recreational pilots. So to do that, we're gonna click add account type up here and it says recreational flyer, set up recreational flyer account. And then you can use existing profile information. So if you've already done this before with a part 107 or another drone, click this. Let's say that this is the first time. So allow me to enter manually, continue. And then again, you would just enter all of your information, physical address, mailing address, name, number, and then you would proceed to check out. And it's also only $5. And it also says here about some basic rules for flying recreationally and also to mark your aircraft. So whether you're recreational or commercial, you have to put a code, write it on your aircraft and you proceed to check out. And that's all you have to do. And the biggest thing is to make sure that you are on the correct website it ends in .gov, any .gov websites, you click up here, it says a .gov website belongs to an official government organization. So there are some scam websites out there. Don't trust them. Use this link that we will again provide in the description below. And that is how to register your drone, whether it's for commercial or recreational purposes. And it lasts for three years and then you have to re-register your drone. Also, here are some common questions we've received regarding this issue. First, if my drone is registered as a recreational pilot, can I conduct commercial operations? Under the Part 107 regulations, any drone operating commercially must be registered as a commercial drone. Another question we get is, should a company-owned drone be registered to one person or the company? The answer is that the person flying the drone must have proof of registration, but it doesn't have to be in their name. Here are two registration options that both cost $5 per drone. The fast way is to register online under the drone program leader or primary pilot. If they change roles, the drone must be re-registered. The slower way is by paper registration, which could take two to three weeks to process. By going the paper route, you could register the drone to the company instead of an actual person. This eliminates the need to re-register the drone to a different person in the event the employee changes positions or leaves the company. You'll need to complete the aircraft registration application, AC Form 8050-1, and have a notarized affidavit verifying ownership. But in the long term, this could be a better option. We'll provide a link below with more information. If you found this video helpful, Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when we post new videos. And let us know in the comments if you're planning on flying recreationally or commercially. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.